Hello and thanks for joining us for a deep dive into the Citrix HDX Plus for Windows 365 integration. My name is Matt Shadbolt and with me I have my good friend and colleague Andre Radinger. We work as product managers on the Windows 365 team and we're excited to show you some of the cool things we've been working on. When we launched Windows 365 a little over a year ago, the reception for a simple and consistent way to benefit from Windows desktop experiences in the cloud was overwhelming. The integrated MEM management Easy setup and deployment, unlimited scale and predictable pricing was received positively by so many customers, from endpoint managers with little to no Windows streaming experience to seasoned VDI administrators with years of experience. While we designed our solution to be integrated with MEM and optimized for endpoint managers, we saw a ton of traditional VDI customers look to Windows 365 to simplify their platforms and operations. We had many customers say, we love the Windows 365 platform, but we also love the HDX protocols. So in partnership with Citrix, we began working on a way to enable the Citrix HDX value on top of Windows 365 without compromising on the simplicity and predictability of Windows 365 delivers. The partnership resulted in Citrix HDX Plus for Windows 365, and we're excited to share some of the details today. Citrix HDX Plus for Windows 365 offers new and existing Citrix customers the ability to layer the HDX protocol on top of the Windows 365 platform, enabling high definition streaming experiences and advanced security controls without any extra infrastructure or complex setup and management. Once set up, it's as simple as checking a box next to a user in Citrix to enable HDX on their cloud PC. Windows 365 will automatically install the prerequisites register the VDA into Citrix Cloud, and even switch the Windows 365 end user portal to use the HDX protocol. End users can see their cloud PCs alongside any other Citrix enabled content, and they'll receive the same optimized, persistent, always on Windows 365 experience, but over the HDX protocol using the Citrix workspace clients. In this session, we wanna take you into the technical deep dive of the solution. First, I'll explain how the two services are integrated and how the Citrix agents are seamlessly onboarded to new and existing cloud PCs. We'll also talk about connectivity and how the workspace client connects differently to the default remote desktop experience. Next, we'll show you some demos on how simple this is to set up and what the end user experiences look like. To finish, we'll show you some troubleshooting techniques to help manage the integration ongoing. So let's get started by jumping into the high level architecture. To hold true to our principles of making Citrix onboarding and enablement as simple as the rest of Windows 365, we've worked with Citrix to build an integrated connector between the two services. Every customer will have two tenants, a Citrix Cloud tenant and their Windows 365 tenant. In the Citrix tenant, you'll have your Citrix HDX Plus licenses, and in the Windows 365 tenant, you'll have licenses and Cloud PCs provisioned for your users. Using Azure AD, we authenticate and authorize each service to talk to one another and use the same Azure AD user identities between services. This means we can entitle an Azure AD user for the Citrix HDX Plus in the Citrix console and action the onboarding for the user inside Windows 365. These are the users I'd like to enable HDX on their cloud PCs. I can pick and choose which users get to use HDX and even leave some users by default using remote desktop. Windows 365 will receive this signal and go ahead and onboard the cloud PC into the Citrix cloud. At this point, HDX is enabled and the user can connect from their Citrix workspace app. It really is just that simple. Check a box for a user in the Citrix cloud console to use HDX, or uncheck the box to disable HDX and roll back to the default remote desktop. Windows 365 will handle everything else. Now that my user has been entitled, the VDA has been registered and HDX enabled, what does the user connectivity look like? By default, Cloud PC users connect via the Windows 365 infrastructure over remote desktop. But HDX enabled users will connect to their Cloud PC using the Citrix workspace apps. This can be via the native workspace apps on Windows or other platforms, or alternatively via the Citrix web client. 
Instead of connecting via the Windows 365 network infrastructure though, the HDX connectivity goes via the Citrix Cloud infrastructure. This allows the HDX session optimizations and security controls to apply and provides the great HDX end user experience you love. We even switched the end user experience in the native Windows 365 end user portal and Andre will show you how that looks in an upcoming demo. To make this work, there's no need for any new infrastructure. No connectors, gateways or storefronts. Everything flows via the Citrix cloud service and is simple as the native Windows 365 experience. To take this one level deeper, here's all the components interacting with each other. You can see at the top the Citrix admin console connected to my Microsoft Endpoint Manager tenant, which is orchestrating the desktop entitlement and assignment. To the left, you can see the user's Endpoint apps, either the remote desktop app using IDP or the Citrix workspace app using HDX, connecting to their respective gateways to establish a session. That connectivity is then provided through to the cloud PC in a seamless manner. The result is a consistent end user experience for any user entitled with Citrix HDX Plus for Windows 365. First, you'll obviously need Windows 365 licenses to create cloud PCs on behalf of your users. These licenses are purchased like any other Windows 365 license today. Next, you'll need some Citrix HDX Plus for Windows 365 licenses, or alternatively, you can purchase or use existing Citrix Premium licenses such as Citrix DAS Premium. These licenses are purchased via your regular Citrix sales channels. You'll need to meet all the normal Windows 365 prerequisites such as Azure AD and Microsoft Endpoint Manager as this functionality doesn't change. Endpoint management like configuration and deployments are still performed via MEM and identity still depends on Azure Active Directory. But if you are looking at a hybrid join deployment, Citrix HDX Plus provides the flexibility to integrate with your existing identity solution. You'll also need sufficient permissions in both MEM and Azure AD to set up the connectors, but other than that, that's it. It's all very easy to get started using HDX on Windows 365. We also have comprehensive docs available with all the prerequisites and setup steps available on learn.microsoft.com. Now I'm going to hand over to Andre, who's going to show us some demos on how to get onboarded and users connected via HDX. Thank you, Matt, for the great details and deep dive into benefits of integration between Windows 365 Cloud PC and Citrix HDX Plus protocol and the architecture overview. In the next section, I will show you a few demos of the actual integration process. The first thing you need to do is to enable Citrix connector on the Windows 365 tenant level. We added the Citrix connector enablement in the existing MEM UI under the tenant administration connectors and tokens. As we are currently in a preview period, you will notice the preview tag until we release the GA. Enabling Citrix connector in MEM is literally a single click, which will allow users to use Citrix HDX protocol to connect to their cloud PCs. To enable Citrix connector, the user must be a member of the global admins or the Intune admins group. So I will enable the Citrix connector and that will be all that the admins need to do to enable the Citrix integration. If the connector is turned off, no new cloud PCs can be enabled to use Citrix. Turning it off will give existing clients a seven day grace period before disabling it for them and uninstalling it from all cloud PCs. The message here shows you exactly that. Once enabled for the Windows 365 tenant, the admin will need to go to the Citrix cloud to connect that Windows 365 tenant with Citrix tenant to complete the two-way integration and to assign licenses to individual users. Once the integration is completed, on both sides, Citrix will start sending status updates every one hour to MEM about the service health and possible URL change in the Citrix environment. You can see the current status update here. Once admin enabled Citrix connector in MEM, the next step is to enable integration in Citrix Cloud. We're in the Citrix console and to start the Windows 365 integration process, we click on the quick deploy button at the bottom. If this is a new tenant and you're doing it for the first time for this tenant, you need to start by connecting Azure Active Directory to Citrix Cloud. This is a one-time operation that needs to be done only once on a tenant level, but it needs to be executed by the Azure Global Admin account. 
The next step you need to go through is to configure the Citrix workspace. From here, you can set up the custom URL to access Citrix workspace, customize default sign-in and after sign-in appearance, colors, etc. Same as with connecting AAD to Citrix Cloud, you need to do it only once per tenant. With these two initial steps completed, you connected Azure Active Directory and Citrix Cloud and configured the Citrix workspace for your users. For this demo, I assume that you already executed these two steps previously. The next step is to connect to Windows 365. It is a very simple process where you need to enter your global admin credentials and accept required permissions. Once completed, you connected your Windows 365 tenant with Citrix tenant. I'll enter my global admin credentials. I will accept requested permissions and I connected my Windows 365 to Citrix tenant. You have now completed three one-time steps to connect to tenants and set up the environment. The last step is to assign Citrix licenses to users that will use the Citrix HDX protocol. Assigning a Citrix HDX license to user is the last step to enable the HDX experience for Cloud PC users. Before I assign a Citrix license, I want to show you the existing Windows 365 portal to show the current status of the user's Cloud PC before assigning a Citrix license. As you can see, this user has a Cloud PC provisioned and I have an option to open it in browser. This will open it using the regular RDP. The download section allows me to download the Microsoft Remote Desktop Client required for my environment. Now, let me go to the Citrix Cloud and assign a Citrix license to that user. After starting the process, click on Add User, search for the user, select that user, click OK and save it. Clicking on Save, Citrix is automatically sending the license information with all the registration details to the previously connected Windows 365 tenant. Windows 365 picks that up and installs the HDX client on the Cloud PC and gets the Cloud PC ready for use with the HDX. And that is how simple it is. It is all automated process. We take care of all of that for you. There is no BDA deployment, no registration, no PowerShell scripts, nothing like that. Once assigned a Citrix license, I can go back to my Windows 365 portal, refresh it, and see that the connection method has changed from opening browser to opening Citrix. This is all the background automated process I was talking about earlier that Windows 365 took care of for you. With Citrix license assigned to the user and installed automatically on the Cloud PC, Remote Desktop Client's download section is also adjusted. So the user had an option to download and install the appropriate Citrix Workspace Client and run Cloud PC from the native tool. In the next demo, I'll show you the user experience running Cloud PC via the Citrix HDX protocol from the Citrix Workspace Client. With a few simple steps presented in previous demos, users can start enjoying the benefits of Windows 365 integration with Citrix HDX while using their Cloud PCs. In the previous demo, I showed you how you can download the native Citrix workspace client for your environment. And in this demo, we'll see it in action from the user's perspective. As a user, I have two options, using the native Citrix workspace client or using a web client. Let me show you the web client experience first. I'll start with the standard Windows 365 web client logged in as a client PC user. Since I registered a Citrix license for this user, HDX took over RDP and I have the option open in Citrix to start my cloud PC. Clicking on that button, I will open the Citrix workspace in a web browser. When a user with Citrix HDX Plus license registered to their Windows 365 account opens in a Citrix workspace, web or native client, the provisioned cloud PCs will show up in their console ready to be started. I'll start my cloud PC, which will open up in a web browser ready to use. All I have to do is log in 
with my regular Windows credentials and I have my cloud PC ready for use. Next, let me show you the native Citrix workspace client. I have the same cloud PCs I had in the web client and the overall user experience is very similar, just richer in options. Starting the cloud PC from the native client will open it in a native desktop viewer, providing the best user experience and performance. I will connect to my cloud PC, log in with my regular Windows credentials, and I will have my cloud PC ready for use. In these few demos, you've seen how we've associated our two services within a matter of minutes. We enabled HDX for my user and connected to Cloud PC or HDX. We've made it as simple as it can possibly be. By default, remote desktop connectivity is disabled when HDX has been enabled. This is to ensure your users have no way to easily bypass all the Citrix security controls on offer with HDX. When a user has connectivity issues connecting to their cloud PC via HDX, Citrix offer plenty of guidance on how to troubleshoot. One easy troubleshooting step is to enable remote desktop on the cloud PC. With remote desktop enabled, you can isolate the issue being caused by HDX or the underlying cloud PC. Re-enabling remote desktop for a HDX plus enabled cloud PC is simple. Just add the user with the connectivity issue to the local admins group or the Citrix Direct Connections access group and remote desktop will be automatically enabled for testing. This should only be used as a temporary troubleshooting workaround, so don't forget to remove the user when the issue is resolved. You can use the Windows 365 user setting feature to quickly add and remove users from the local admins group on their cloud PC. To enable a user for local admin and test remote desktop, browse to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager console and into the Windows 365 node. Here you'll see a tab called User Settings. You can create a user settings policy that enables local administrator access to the users in the target group. You can drop users in and out of this group when needed for troubleshooting. Once targeted, the user can open the remote desktop app and connect via the default remote desktop protocol and troubleshoot the root cause of the connectivity issue. Now that you've seen how much value Citrix HDX Plus brings to Windows 365 and how simple it is to set up, I'm sure you're asking how can we test it out now? From the Windows 365 point of view, everything is ready to go. You can enable this integration today in public preview and we plan to go to GA shortly. From the Citrix point of view, you'll need to sign up for their technical preview of Citrix HDX Plus by going to aka.ms forward slash Citrix HDX Plus for Windows 365. Here you can provide your tenant details and Citrix will enable the preview on your tenant. Once done, you'll be able to enable HDX as quickly and as easily as we've shown today. We hope you've enjoyed the deep dive into the Citrix HDX Plus for Windows 365 integration and we look forward for your organizations to seeing the benefit of our partnership.